to speak to uh, another insider, sent us a, they actually mailed something to us. And, and this is what it said. He said, dear guys, first, I'm really enjoying your Facebook and YouTube channel. Uh, why did you decide to start doing pro wrestling inside now? I know that Brent and Rodney was working for the circus for 14 years. I heard you talk about this, but why would you start doing it now? Also, Jack, why did you start doing the page with the West boys? After so many years in the wrestling business, was it important for you to start doing the podcast as well? Well, the reason I started doing it, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you the, the exact moment that I decided I wanted to do it. I had a friend go to a wrestling match in Cleveland, Tennessee at the National Guard Army. Ricky Steamboat was going to be there. And I can't remember the rest of the people who are going to be on the card. I, I don't remember. But I know I know Ricky Steamboat. So I said, well, I told the guy, so when you go up to Ricky Steamboat, have him talk, you know, go tell him, say, hey, I work with uh, a son of uh, a Ron West. And he did that. And when he did, Ricky Steamboat acted like he didn't even know who Ron West was. Now, he worked with him for years, but he acted like he didn't know. And so I thought at that moment, I thought, you know, there's probably so many, not just not just Ron West, but Jerry Stubbs and Wendell Cooley and Tommy Rich and that people have not even heard of. And they're going to forget about them. And at that moment, I said, we've got to do something to preserve the history of wrestling because there's some people they don't even know who they are. You ask them, hey, you remember? No, I don't know if I remember that guy. So that's the reason. But I decided that I wanted to do something, preserve wrestling history and give those people a voice uh, that that they're not being talked about now on a lot of the channels. How about you, Rodney? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, when, when it comes to the point where, you know, a lot of some people don't even know who Harley Race is, uh, you know, it's time to, you know, it's time to get out there and let people know. Yeah, wrestling existed before sports entertainment. And that's exactly what we're hearing. And we'll try to keep at it as long as we can. Jack? Yeah, that that, that was me, man. I'm just I, – I have always loved our history. I have just had the outlet of all these dressing rooms over the years to, you know, tell stories and, you know, uh, inform people about our history. And but it's always been to a small audience, you know. And, and this way we get an opportunity to share what we all feel is important. And that's the history of our industry. Because if you don't know your history, you can't really have a present without understanding it. And I'll give you one example. Of yesterday, uh, Saturday at the funeral, I was talking with James Storm and Wendell Cooley was there and came over and was talking to me and talked to James a little bit and walked off. And James said, who was that? And I said, well, that's Wendell Cooley. Now, he's changed a little bit. I could, I could see where you might not recognize him. And he said, I never heard of him. You know, and, and, and Wendell Cooley could have been one of the biggest stars in the business. He really could have. And, and yet here we are with a guy who is a notable name in the industry, has no idea who he is. You know, and that's not James' fault. There's just not enough people like us that have been trying to teach this until now. Yeah, that's that's the reason. And, you know, and a lot of people ask the question, they said, I've had a lot get upset because we're covering WWE. And they said, why would you want to do that? Number one is World Wrestling Entertainment is the only wrestling company still in existence today from the territory days. The McMahon family go back, they go back almost a hundred and something years in yeah. professional wrestling. So it's important. It's important for WWE. I think it's important for that company, it, among all the other ones to really be able to flourish and stay in business because it is the oldest wrestling organization still in existence. And you have to, you have to at least respect them for that. If you don't respect them, I'm not saying I respect everything they do now. I'm not saying that, but you do have to at least respect them for being able to be in the business. And they are the only, really, they're the only thing that that's connecting us to the past. Uh, if they go, then there's no wrestling company that connects us to the past. So uh, I think it's very important to uh, to keep uh, to keep their uh, their name alive, and uh, and and hopefully more people can uh, start watching the WDB. Uh, I mean, yes, they do need to work I, on the product. But. I think the worst argument I ever got in I was in the gym, and a guy told me I was telling him that we uh, used to promote wrestling, and he said, "Well, wrestling is so big, much bigger than it was back then." and which set me off. Uh, and I said, under, uh, just because what is seen on the uh, cable or what, what, what it makes it bigger. 
I said, if you and I had to go through just examining Chattanooga, I said, think about it. Nick Goulas ran every single week, 52 weeks out of the year, sometimes twice a week in Chattanooga. I said he would do, let's say, on average, 3000 per week. That's 150,000 tickets a year. And I said the WWE comes here twice a year and draws, what, 7000 And you're telling me it's bigger now than it was then? It was number one, number two, the ratings. And where is his show at now? Barely even a blip. So I don't really want to hear about, oh, it's bigger today than it was then. No. It, 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 they believe so because they read it on the Internet. So they believe it was <laughs> well, bigger.